Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this series, we will be solving one very interesting rational equation today. Equation is 2 over x plus 2 whole square minus 5 over 2 equal to x over x square plus 5x plus 6. So, I will begin this video by factoring the denominator x square plus 5x plus 6. So, I can split my 5x. We can write 6 as 2 times 3. So, I will split my 5x as 2x plus 3x. So, I will write x square plus 2x plus 3x. This is now 5x plus 6. So, from first two term, I will take x common. It will be left with x plus 2. And last two term, I will take 3 common. Again, it will give x plus 2. So, overall factorization is x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now, I will replace this denominator by x plus 2, x plus 3. So, let's talk about domain right now because we can see our denominators. So, from first bracket, x cannot be equal to negative 2 from this bracket. And from this denominator, I can write x cannot be minus 3 also. Except these values, every real values are accepted. Now let's, let's rearrange the terms. So I will consider 2 over x plus 2 whole square minus x over x plus 2 x plus 3 equal to 5 over 2. We can take x plus 2 common. So I will write 1 over x plus 2 in bracket 2 over x plus 2 minus x over x plus 3 and RHS would be 5 over 2. Done. Now I will take LCM. So once I will take LCM, I will write x plus 2 times x plus 3 in the denominator. Now I will write here 2 times x plus 3 minus x times x plus 2 equal to 5 over 2. And outside there is one factor 1 over x plus 2. So I can conclude from here. Let me write here itself. It will give us 1 over x plus 2. And see what will be in the numerator. 2x plus 6 minus x square minus 2x. So advantage is 2x will be cancelled out. Denominator is as it is x plus 2 times x plus 3. Okay. RHS is constant 5 over 2. So overall, if I will write this value, then it is 6 minus x square in the numerator. And in denominator, it is x plus 2 whole square times x plus 3 equal to 5 over 2. Now this equation looks a simple and easy one. So let us consider cross multiplication. So I can write 6 minus x square times 2 equal to 5 times x plus 2 whole square times x plus 3. So 2 times 6 minus x square that will be equal to 5 times x plus 2 whole square times x plus 3. Now I will expand. So this will give us 12 minus 2x square is equal to 5. This is x square plus 4x plus 4 times x plus 3. Let's expand this. x cube then x square times 3. 3x square plus 4x times x. 4x square. So 7x square plus 
फोर एक्स टाइम्स थ्री ट्वेल्व एक्स फोर टाइम्स एक्स फोर एक्स सो सिक्सटीन एक्स एंड प्लस ट्वेल्व फोर टाइम्स थ्री इज ट्वेल्व ओके एल एच एस इज ट्वेल्व माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर नाउ आई विल एक्सपैंड विथ फाइव सो आई कैन राइट फाइव एक्स क्यू प्लस थर्टी फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट्टी एक्स प्लस सिक्सटी एंड एल एच एस इज ट्वेल्व माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर टेक ऑल द टर्म टू आर एच एस राइट हैंड साइड सो आई विल राइट फाइव एक्स क्यू थर्टी फाइव प्लस टू थर्टी सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर एट्टी एक्स वी आर हैविंग सो इट विल इट वुड बी एट्टी एक्स ओनली एंड सिक्सटी माइनस ट्वेल्व सो फोर्टी एट वन इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन देर देर आर एवरी टर्म विच इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ दिस क्यूबिक इक्वेशन पॉजिटिव एवरी कोफिशियंट इज पॉजिटिव सो ऑब्वियसली रूट विल बी नेगेटिव the solution of this equation will be obviously negative then only it will make our equation rhs zero so let's solve this cubic equation using our conventional method synthetic division we will solve so i will consider the eligible factors of constant coefficient so if you will write the factors of 48 then we can write these are the eligible factors now we can write the factors of constant leading constant term that is 5 so i can write plus minus 1 plus minus 5 so i have to take the ratio if you will see equation is having all coefficients positive so let me substitute the very first negative value negative 1 positive won't be solution of this because of none of the sign is negative so x is equal to minus 1 so 5 times minus 1 q Plus thirty-seven times minus one is square. Plus eighty times minus one plus forty-eight. Is this zero? Minus five plus thirty-seven minus eighty plus forty-eight. You can check thirty-seven plus forty-eight is eighty-five, and minus five minus eighty minus eighty-five. So value will be zero. That means this is our base solution. the very first solution of the equation cubic equation now i will use synthetic division so let us write all the coefficients first so coefficients are 5 37 80 48 5 37 80 48 5 37 80 48 5 37 80 48 5 37 base solution is x is equal to minus 1 let's put over there one line 5 Minus five, thirty-seven minus five, thirty-two. Take the product minus thirty-two. You will get forty-eight. Forty-eight times minus one minus forty-eight. So value will be zero. Now this is what the coefficients of quadratic equation. So five x square plus thirty-two x plus forty-eight equal to zero. Let's apply quadratic formula immediately. So x will be equal to minus b minus thirty two plus minus square root thirty two square one zero two four minus four times five times forty eight so four times five is twenty twenty into forty eight nine sixty divided by two a so ten a is five now you can write it is minus thirty two plus minus One zero two four minus nine sixty sixty four it is. So it will give us value minus thirty two plus minus eight over ten. If I will consider plus sign, let me put over there plus sign. Then it is minus twenty four over ten, and minus sign then minus forty over ten. So if I will cancel numerator denominator, then I can write minus twelve over five. And minus four. So we have got all the three solutions of the cubic polynomial. Let me write here: x is equal to minus one, minus four, minus twelve over five. Now I will verify all the three whether there are any extraneous solution or not. 
and none of the solution is our excluded list that is minus 2 and minus 3 so it is not so let's verify only so let me write here verification x is equal to minus 1 okay if i will put here minus 1 then 2 minus 1 1 1 whole square is 1 so i will write 2 over 1 minus 5 over 2 let's solve right hand side minus 1 over minus 1 whole square 1 so 7 minus 5 so 2 is this minus half so let us check 4 minus let me write here 4 minus 5 over 2 yes so both sides are same so our x is equal to minus 1 is verified second value is x is equal to negative 4 let's check 2 over negative 4 plus 2 so minus 2 whole square is 4 2 over 4 is 1 over 2 minus 5 over 2 rhs minus 4 over minus 4 whole square is 16 plus 6 22 22 minus 5 times 4 22 minus 22 so this value is rhs is minus 2 let's verify left hand side so yes it is also matching so it is also minus 2 correct this is also verified now come to the last one minus 12 over 5 so for this i will calculate see this term i will write in terms of factors x plus 2 remember the factorization of this term was x plus 2 x plus 3 for this value let's find out x plus 2 and x plus 3 separately so x plus 2 will be 2 minus x see x is negative i am just calculating this value x plus 2 value i will put directly so it is minus 2 over 5 now x plus 3 value x is negative 12 over 5 so 3 minus 12 over 5 so this is 3 over 5 so i will put directly x plus 2 x plus 3 okay so 2 over x plus 2 whole square x plus 2 is negative 2 over 5 so 4 over 25 minus 5 over 2 is equal to x x is minus 12 over 5 divided by x plus 2 times x plus 3 so i will multiply both I will write minus 2 over 5 times 3 over 5. Now only see, I can cancel this. It will become 25 over 2 minus 5 over 2. So LHS is 20 over 2, 10. Confirm. Now we have to only verify right hand side. It should match with 10. So if I will cancel these two terms, then it will give us 6. Now 6 divided by 3 over 5. So it is 30 over 3 which is 10. So that means it is also verified and tested. So this is also true. So our three solutions are negative 1, negative 4 and negative 12 over 5. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.